Praise God. Praise God. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give him honor and give him praise for he is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be honored. No, 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 no. Not just when he's blessing us, not just when he just woke us up, but every day, every hour, every minute, every second, he is worthy to be praised. And that is where the church must get back again, said the Lord. We must get back there to where we just love on our God. Not because of this, not because of that, not because of who, not because of why. Yes, yes. Today is the third day of the Daniel fast. Praise God, praise God. I pray that you are joined. I pray that you, if, you, if you're not on it, you need to get on it. And that's just real talk. In this hour, in this moment, we need fasting and prayer. Because the Bible says this kind come out but by fasting and praying some of us don't mind praying notice what i said but most don't they don't want to fast and i get it i get it i get it but you can't get some things done unless you fast you want to know why you're not strengthened because you're not doing what it takes soldier come on now that's why i'm gonna have to break something thing something down you know what here it is I got to go to the word. That's it. That's it. The word. The word of God. Just one moment. Yep. He brought it to me, I think about two, three days ago. So let me bring it to you all. Hold on. I got it marked. Okay. All right. In the book of 2 Chronicles. 2 Chronicles starting at um, chapter 20, verse 16. Okay. Listen very carefully. Very powerful. Very powerful. Tomorrow go ye down against them. Oh, this is a war, I told you. Behold, they come up from the cliff to Ziz, and you shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jero. Verse 17, you should not need to fight in this battle. You see, there's a place where there's a rest in God, but you have to get at a certain spiritual level. You don't just get there. Where you don't have to fight and so say in the physical, or even in the, well, natural is the same thing as physical. But... Even in the spiritual room, there's a place of rest to where God says, I got this. Somebody write that in the comments. God got this. You don't have to try to concoct nothing. You don't have to try to do anything. God got it. Your position is to pray. And God will move. Let me continue. Verse 17, I'm start over. He says, you should not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves and, notice say, set yourselves. That means get in position. Stand ye see. Stand ye still. Sometimes you just got to be still. You, some of you moving too much. You're moving too much. You're moving too much. You're talking too much too. And see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not and neither be dismayed. For tomorrow go out against them. For the Lord would be with you. Hmm. Verse 18. And Jehoshaphat bound down his head with his face to the ground. And all of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. That's what we got to get back to. You can say what you want. I'm going here this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The church has lost its worship. You can say what you want. I mean, we have a form of God in us, but denying the true power thereof. Them old people knew how to worship. Them no, no people knew how to moan and groan and declare and decree and declare the works of God. Period in the story. This new, new church, we don't want to do all this. We want to look good. I'm on one. We want to look good. People out here dying. People are in need. People have lack. People are hurting. People need deliverance. And the church want to look good. Yeah, I said it. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. Verse 19. I'm in Second Chronicles. For those that are joining, verse chapter 20, verse 19. And the Levites of the children of the Conatites and of the children of the Korites stood up to the praise up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. Notice he said on high. So that means that's different level, different level of worships. What level are you on, said the Lord? Because see, some of us, we just give something like Cain did, not Abel. And then some of us give God everything because he is our everything. Hmm. Let's continue. Verse 20. And they rose early in the morning early look at me that that's that creole coming out of me you don't have time to be sleeping Word, rise up four three two talk to your god 
You have a problem, talk to your God. You need, you need help, ask for instructions. Mm, mm, let me continue. So verse 20. And they rose early in the morning and went forth in the wilderness of Katakoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. That's why the enemy is after your faith and your trust and your confidence, because they're all tied in one. And if you don't believe, you will not receive. You can say what you want to say. Let's continue. He says, Hear me, O Judah, and Judah and the inheritance of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, and so shall ye prosper. Why do you think so many false prophets are rising up? Because they're trying to drown out the true prophets of God. Because once you believe the true prophet of God, he can't go back on his word. It just said, I'm going to repeat that again. Believe, believe his prophets, and so shall ye prosper. This is real. This is not a game. Verse 21. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord, and that should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army, to say, Praise the Lord for his mercy endureth forever. Verse 22. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Sor, and they were against Judah, and they were smitten. So you mean to tell me, if we get in a position of praise and worship, 